Hello everyone. Welcome to the free AL guidance program series organized by Mission Cordova of Muslim Majlis of University of Sri Jayawardenepura. As scheduled, today we will be having the art stream guidance program for the students who have just completed their OL examination this year. Before moving on, a kind reminder to all participants, please be kind enough to keep your mics muted to avoid any inconveniences. At the end of the session, you can clear your doubts by either unmuting yourself or by dropping a message via the chat box. Also, please refrain from drawing on the screen while screen sharing is going on. We warmly welcome Jasra Jaufa, who is currently following the BA in English Honours Degree Program at our university to continue the session. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and a very good morning to all of you present here today. I hope you can hear me well and see the screen clearly. I warmly welcome all of you to this guidance program regarding the art stream. And uh, just to begin with, I would like to give a brief introduction about myself. I'm Jasla Jaffa, a third year English student at the University of Sri Jayawardenepura. Right, so to begin with, this is, of course, a very, you know, catchy picture that depicts your situation in right, that you are in right now, right? You're like, after your own levels, a break of about, you know, three to four months, and then you're going to start off with your A levels. So you're kind of confused, right? What stream do I have to choose? Which way do I go with? What is, you know, best suitable for me? So you're kind of confused and you're, you know, choosing, like, you know, you're like trying to get into what you want to really be. So these, you know, series of guidance programs are designed just for that, that we are here to cope you all, to, you know, give you a little bit of guidance to choosing what you want to be in the future so that you can choose the right stream. So moving on, how you can use your free period productively after your O levels, right? So this is the period you are in right now, right? You have a few months of break. So first thing first, you need to enjoy the leisure time that has been given to you. You're never going to get this, you know, free period of about three to four months ever again. That it's going to be very difficult to catch like such a long vacation. So anyways, you guys like, you know, y'all are anyways a batch who have struggled so much, you know, being in between a pandemic and the economic crisis of the country, you have already struggled a lot. Like trying to study, trying to, you know, like uh, come up with all sorts of things to keep yourself motivated. So this is the time where you can use it effectively. And one way to do it is to take a break. Take a break from studying. Like I would have definitely known, like most of you would have already just, you know, packed up your books and then it must be lying in the corner of your room right now. And that's something good because I don't think you should ever look into books right now because it's a time for you to enjoy your leisure time you know, productively. And that is to do things that make you happy. It can be a source of entertainment, right? It can be something that you really think you want to do. It can be like spending time, if you like to you know, do something in art, you want to draw, you want to paint, you like to cook, you do something that will make you happy. So you can you know, get yourself involved in doing things like that. Further on, the second thing that I came up with is to find your spark of creativity or passion. And that is one thing that's very important, right? Because this is the time where you need to spend it productively in order to choose what you want to be in future. And one of the things that you have to identify is to know, you know, what are the hidden talents that you have, what you can, you know, provide for this world as a whole itself. And in that way, you need to be creative. Come up with so many other things that you think are hidden in you but you have been you know trying to bottle it down and you didn't want to give that time to you know make it come out in the week right so this is the time for you to you know have that you know idea about how i can you know make it come out in this way for example if you have this uh, you know uh, thing about writing for example right you always like to write something down you always wanted to speak it out but you've always been you know a person who has always bottled it down and not given that you know time to you know, put it into action. But now is the time. Maybe you can just write it down. Maybe you have that scope for writing poetry. 
maybe a scope for writing short stories or even a small article or even like a hashtag you know that you can keep you know making it out so that you can give some time for your creativity to come into being and this is the time for you to make use of it right and fourthly that you know creativity and the passion that you want to seek out gives you some time to relax your mind and that is also very important because uh, one of our lecturers actually in university she told us this thing about daydreaming and how it made a change in her life and how we too should you know come idea about daydreaming and most of us think like oh my god daydreaming like what's the point of daydreaming you're just you know giving some thoughts about your future but it's still in your dreams that's the you know thing that comes up right like when you tell okay you want to be this astronaut in future and then people will be like yeah right in your dreams so that's a very you know a norm that thing actually goes on in society but what you can do is if you think it achievable if you think that you can give that a go and make it make the dream a reality definitely you need to daydream and what our madam actually told us you just you know let your mind relax and then you just close your eyes maybe if you want to you can you know play some music and then she says you know go into that well like go into this peace you know like a, like an area of peace and then just dream dream about where you want to be in the future dream about the steps that you can take to who you want to be later on right so that it gives you some time it gives you that happy hormones a satisfaction about yourself you don't feel like a failure you feel like okay i have something in mind so i can actually give this a try and make it a reality in future and that is the time that you can use uh, during this period right then fourthly you have another time that is very similar to the rest of it which is to learn new skills and you have so many things on internet right now which you can try out especially if you have this new for cooking and you never got the chance to do it you can actually try it right now there are millions of recipes online like everybody is like you know doing recipes and you can also try it out just for some you know creative passion to just come into you maybe there is something that you can actually try out so there are you have like you know basic things like you know drawing and you know doodling maybe it may comes to art and painting and even maybe like something like fashion design or interior designing like those are things that you can actually learn and you know come up with you just design your own clothes and make it a reality by sewing it you know things like that very basic things but it actually helps you to mold you as a person right before you start your a levels right so moving on we come into this question right the need to do a levels is it really a need right now most of you might be wondering okay like there are so many actually like whom i know of have actually dropped out of a levels right they've done their all they they they've done their o levels and then they moved on to you know courses that uh, you know provide foundation courses right? instead of doing their a levels they do the foundation then they move into like an hnd or a diploma and then they go into a degree which is a possibility but it is only in private universities but when it comes to a person a girl or a boy who is aiming to enter the local university you need to do your a levels right without your a levels you cannot enter the university like a local university so that is one idea in why you need to do a levels another reason why you have to do a levels is this right you know the education system education system as a whole like from the beginning when you think of your primary grades from grade 1 to 5 it's actually like you have around 13 subjects if i'm not mistaken you have around 13 subjects like from the social sciences okay you have subjects like you know even then you have like these compulsory subjects like the basic maths and english and then you have languages it can be sinhala or tamil and then you have like second languages such as english and then you have aesthetic subjects such as drama such as dancing music you know singing all that is also incorporated in your primary years then you move on to your secondary you know school or the elementary stage you have around nine subjects like when it comes to your o level specially you have specifically nine subjects because it's narrowed down you see from 13 it comes down to nine so then you have like you're experiencing a different type of person in each of these subject areas so you know what you are good at in one subject sometimes you are good in one sometimes you aren't so you are able to see what you are good at and what you are not good at finally i'm sorry i think someone's near unmuted could you please mute it right let's get back on so uh, what happens is um, when it comes to o levels you have only nine subjects and then you have that experience with each of these subjects 
Then you move on to your A levels. And this is the period where it narrows down to just three subjects, right? So because it is actually, you have like around five to six streams right now, but the education system is in such a, it's designed in such a way that it funnels down everything. It filters like so many subjects into just a few particular subjects. And that is because it wants to give these students that scope to find out what they like to do in future. You do not have to do everything like you used to do earlier, but now it's narrowed down to just a particular field that you think is going to be helpful for you to become as a, you know, to become yourself later on in future, who you want to be, you know, to give rise to your goals. So if the entire education system is designed in such a way, why would you want to just leave it out? Why wouldn't you want to experience what Elevers is like? Because it is like no other in your previous, uh, you know, experience in school. It's a, it's actually, a, a, you know, a, a, what do you say, like a, an experience of life where you have not only the areas relating to, you know, studying and, you know, having, you know, subjects only like theory part and everything, but you have practical areas as well. And including that, you develop yourself as a person. Because is it, a, it is a time where you, where you give some areas for like, you know, these leadership skills to come up, these analytical skills, soft skills, working with people. You know, you learn so much about yourself. You have so many abilities and talents in yourself that actually comes out when it comes to your A-levels. So these are the reasons I would say why you need to do A-levels. And But there is one thing. Since, you know, this current situation is ongoing, hopefully, inshallah, it will, you know, come to a stop. But it's something that we're all hopeful for. But definitely do give it a try. If you have trustworthy teachers whom you know will, you know, guide you, and definitely you need to attend the tuition classes. That's like something that you don't have to tell because the A-levels is that. But more than anything, it's not only attending classes and studying. More than that, you need to give time for yourself. Self-study is something that's like a different, you know, area of study when it comes to A-levels. You need to do your own research. You need to do, you need to have yourself motivated always. Once you start your A-levels, there is no end to it, right? So you need to keep that commitment ongoing. And that is one of the things, you know, that you speak of when it comes to A-levels. Right, so moving on, this is how I actually plan you know, I would actually plan, you know, our futures when it comes to how you can give yourself time to, you know, see who you want to be in future. So this is like a very brief, you know, mind map that I came up with. So you have a few goals, right? All of you might have simple goals. You might have like really big dreams in, you know, that you want to make it a reality in future. So for example, if you want to become a lecturer at the end of the day, right? If you do your animal arts, and if you want to, you know, get your bachelor's of arts, you know, your bachelor's degree in English, you can do your MA, right? Your master's. Once you come up with your master's, sorry, once you come up with your master's in English, then you can become a lecturer. And you can still further study. So once you become a lecturer, you don't have to really stop studying. You can, you know, attain your PhD and you have uh, like a doctorate. So, you know, uh, don't have this idea that after you attain where you want to be, it's like the end of everything all. No, you can still keep studying because studying never stops, right? You can always keep going. Then you have another path that you can take, and that is this. You do your A-level arts, and you attain your bachelor's degree, and then you become an entrepreneur, right? You become an entrepreneur, you get some kind of work experience and all of that, and then you want to do your MBA, your master's in business administration. And once you attain your MBA, then you can become a manager of a company. It can be your own company. You can work for somebody else as well. And then finally, you become a CEO. So if your goal is to become like this, you know, person who wants to be in all kind of richness, and then you want to experience that role of a CEO, Alhamdulillah, this is a path for you, which you can choose, which you can plan out. So each of you might have different ways in which you want to give your ambition or your goal becoming a reality in the future. And these are just a few ways in which you can do it. Now, for example, this, if you want to become a lawyer, right? You do your A-level arts and then your LLB, you attain your LLB, and then you can become a lawyer. Once you become a lawyer, you can do your master's and then at the end of the day, become a lecturer. Or you can take a different route where you enter law college and become a lawyer. So why you have two different routes is this. If you attain your LLB and you enter your law college, if you want to practice law in courts, you need to enter law college. 
and that's how you become a practicing lawyer in courts. But if you want to become a lecturer in law, right? If you want to become a lecturer in law, then you can attain this part. So this is like a very brief way in which you can, you know, draw out your goals, draw out your path to who you want to be in future. So this is like, you know, very simple template that I came up with, but you can make it colorful, you know, put in icons, you know, doodling any way you want, but make sure you make your goals a reality at least on paper, right? So that it will help you out in the future, like, especially when it comes to choosing your stream. You would know what you want to choose. So moving on to the main area of uh, today's uh, program, which is to speak about the art stream. It is a stream of, with a plethora of subjects. You have a number of sub subjects that are offered in this stream. And it is also a stream where you have subjects from other streams as well. That you have subjects from the bio stream, you have subjects from the math stream, the commerce stream, and even the technology stream. And more than anything, right? When you know the society, you know that the first thing that, you know, they say, when you tell you're doing arts or when you want to choose the arts, then they'll be like, why do you want to do arts? You can do something better. You know, the word better is used just to degrade arts, just to demotivate people and say, no, you have better options to choose, such as the commerce stream, the bio stream, the math stream. But you need to know why they are saying it. Because it is the norm in society that a doctor and an engineer are the only ones who will be like regarded in society as the best people. But now things are changing. You have so many contemporary job opportunities coming up, which I'll be discussing later on in the presentation. But you need to have this idea that, you know, things are changing in the society right now. And we have so much of scope, so much more in the society. And the art stream is a stream and it is the only stream right, that is providing you with so many opportunities to experience it. And you can have like a perfect subject combination from different streams as well, because it is provided in the art stream. And if you like something of technology and the social science subject and a language, you can definitely choose it if you are from the art stream. You do not have to concentrate on just one particular theory matter that is related, related to a particular stream. And further on, the art stream is the only stream that provides or, you know, gives scope for creativity, right? You have subject, aesthetic subjects, right? Definitely like such as arts and dancing, drama, all of that. Including that, you have subjects of language. And you also have, you know, areas of study that gives an individual, that gives a student the, you know, the strength and like, you know, that scope to actually voice out their opinions. You can come up with your own ideas and give it out to the world. And the art stream is one such stream. Because when you consider the other streams, they're very theory based. You just have, even arts, also you definitely have theoretical subjects. But apart from that, you also have subjects that gives, you know, students the ability to speak out of what they, whatever they want to. And, you know, give, um, you know, room for their ideas to be spoken out to the world. So at, at the end of the day, the art stream is like an undefined stream. You have a number of subjects that you can choose from, and we'll be discussing a few later on. So if we come to this question, why you shouldn't be choosing the, um, the art stream? And actually, this is for any stream for that matter, right? Any stream for that matter, but specifically for arts as well. If you know you wouldn't enjoy studying these subjects, right? if you know you're not going to get that motivation, if you know you have no interest in the subjects offered, you don't choose it, right? Because there's no point of choosing it if you know you're not going to enjoy it. And if you are forced to do it, if your parents are forcing you to do it, if you are like uncle and auntie abroad are like, no, this is really good, you can do it here. You know, these are things that are you have scope abroad. Don't do it just because you're forced to do it. Because at the end of the day, you're just going to drop out. And that's worse than even starting something that you didn't like. Because dropping out in the middle of the day, like, it's, it's even worse because it crashes your motivation at the end of the day. And also, you don't get that mo motivation ever again to start up from scratch because it will start from the bottom again. So if you are forced to doing it, please don't do so. And finally, if you want a person who is into reading, that is actually for any A-level student, you need to have a knowledge about the world affairs. Right? And also knowledge about certain things, you know, things that are not spoken of out in the world when it comes to like basic stuff. Okay, like when it comes maybe if I would say like ocean studies, 
like about the fish in the sea, you know, something very detailed, but you can read it. There are so many documents available. You can even watch a lot of documentaries to get to know about all of this. So a levels is not just theory based. Right? It, it has, you know, the practical side of it as well that you need your mind to get involved with. So those are the main reasons, right? If you are being, you know, pushed on with, uh, with any of these things at the back of your mind, please don't choose these subjects. If you have the self-motivation, if you know you're going to enjoy studying, only then will it not feel as a burden to you while you're studying it. Because if you are feeling, oh my God, I have to study, if you have that kind of an attitude, you're never going to, you know, what do you say, like, enjoy your study. And that will actually demotivate you and you're never going to get back up. So that's going to be difficult. So make sure you choose wisely. You choose your stream wisely and with the first try, you have to have that intention that I'll definitely pass and get through, inshallah. Right, so moving on to the next one. The subjects that are offered in the art stream. You have four different categories, right? You have subjects uh, belonging to the social sciences, religion and civilization, aesthetic subjects and languages. So we have like a brief, um, you know, introduction to each of these. So social sciences, you have two categories under it. You have subjects such as economics, geography, history, home economics, agricultural science, mathematics, combined mathematics, communication and media studies, information and communication technology, accounting, business statistics, political science, logic, and scientific method. So that's one basket. The other one, that's the first category. And the second one, you have you can choose one subject from technological subjects, such as civil technology, electrical, electronic, and information technology, agro-technology, mechanical technology, food technology, and bioresource technology. So the criterion according to the UGC handbook is this. Students can choose at least one subject from this category. It can be from the first category, right? You can choose one, one subject if you want to do it for your A-levels. Or you can select all three subjects only from the first category. So if you want to do econ, business statistics, and logic, then you can choose it. So that those will be your three subjects for the entire art stream, right? for your A-levels, right? But if you want a combination, you can do geography and maybe ICT and one subject from the technological subjects, maybe agro-technology, something like that. So that's your combination. So that will give you your subject combination. So moving on, religion and civilization. So you have Islam, Islamic civilization, Christianity, Christian civilization, Hinduism, Hindu civilization, Buddhism, Buddhist civilization, and Greek and Roman civilization. So these are the subjects provided. But one criterion is this. If you choose Islam, you cannot choose Islamic civilization. You cannot choose its corresponding civilization. If you choose Islam, maybe you need to go with Greek and Roman civilization. So that way, if you choose Christian civilization, you need to do Buddhism or Hinduism or Islam. In that sense, right? You get it. So you cannot do the religion and its corresponding civilization. You need to do something else. Right. But you can do, you know, like like I said, like the religion and the Christian, I mean, and the civilization along with maybe a social science subject or an aesthetic subject, you know, or a language. So moving on, you have aesthetic subject that are four categories. You have arts, dancing, music, drama, and theater. So students can select two subjects out of the above four subject areas, but the two subjects selected cannot be chosen from one subject area. So if you want to do, you can maybe do dancing in Sinhala or drama and theater in Sinhala, but you cannot do the drama and theater of Sinhala and Tan. right? You get that. Then we move on to languages. Like languages actually are one of the areas that have very high Z score. And uh, it's, uh, you know, divided into three categories. You have national languages, classical languages, and foreign languages. So national languages are the three languages of the country, the national languages, Sinhala, Tamil, and English. Then you have the classical languages. So you have Arabic, Pali, and Sanskrit. And the foreign languages, and you have a number of them. So you can select, if, you're, if you want to do, you know, only languages for your art stream, I mean, for your A-levels, then you choose Sinhala, Tamil, and English. And if you want to select only languages, then you can choose one of language, national languages, one from the national language, one from the classical, and one from the foreign. And if you want to, you can also choose one national language and two foreign languages as well, or two classical languages as well. Right? So that's your subject combination. So moving on, we come to job opportunities. Right? So actually, um, moving on to this uh, uh, slide again, 
when it comes to subject combinations you have a variety right for example if you want to choose law I and mean, if you want to do law in university then the subject combinations could be something like you know accounting or geography or economics and all of that along with something like ict okay and you can also you i'm sorry you have to know a language it can either be sinhala tamil or english it cannot be like a foreign language or a classical language it has to be a national language so if you have an interest to do law then that's the one okay so then moving on the job opportunity is available in the market when it comes to you choosing the art stream right you have the conventional job opportunities i mean like the what do you say the job roles i would say is you being a lawyer or a teacher that's like the basic thing anyone may be on me like yeah if you choose art you either become a lawyer or a teacher or like a lecturer but you have so many other job opportunities available that are contemporary right now that are in trend you can become like a fashion designer an interior designer anthropologist and economics a psychologist a counselor like you know you have so many and these are not just degraded you know roles these are actually high paid um, you know jobs that you can you can become like you, you, you can attain and become at the end of the day right so then don't be demotivated if people say there is no scope in arts when it comes to you you know doing a job in the future you definitely have and it's in you it's in you at the end of the day to find out what you want to be and then give rise to and reality to your dream or goal right and this is just to end the presentation don't be afraid to be anxious about your goals hard work never stops neither should your dreams right this is one of the main things that you should know in a level it's not like studying in your o levels right for o levels you can just study a few months before and then try to somehow work it out but a levels it's not that from the beginning you need to be self motivated and you need to be committed to doing it it can be for any stream right art especially because it has its own hard subject and its own easy subjects right so depending on that you need to choose your subjects and uh, but more than anything you need to be hard working you need to constantly be there present while you're doing you know your subjects you need to have that because not always will others be motivating you you know for example you, you definitely have your parents at the behind at the back of you right but don't select arts especially if you are being like you know thinking like okay my friends are choosing it so i'll choose it because friends at the end of, at the end of the day they will be there definitely if they are being you know truthful friends but choosing a stream and depending on life based on it like your future based on just this idea is completely unacceptable because you need to know what works for you what works for your friend may not work for you so you are an individual who has to choose what you think wisely so in that way give scope to your dreams and make sure you never stop dreaming that right? you have to have particular goals in mind and make sure you give it a reality okay and so yes that brings me to the end of my presentation and if you have any queries you may drop it in the chat box and you can speak anything And I have a few questions. Uh, did you explain all the subjects which are on the art stream? Yes, I did. I explained all the subjects that are available on the four basic categories. You can have a look at it. And also, I would like to just uh, you know drop a reminder. You have an access to the UGC handbook. It's available online. You just have to type UGC handbook. You have it in English, Sinhala, and Tamil. You can have a look at it. and understand because it has everything in detail it's all explained what the you know subjects are offered in each stream what kind of subject combinations you can get what kind of uh, you know universities offer these subjects later on as you know bachelor's degrees you know all of that everything in detail has been explained so please get in touch with it and also about that course right you can uh, you you also have like um, i think a that course sheet yes of the 20, 2000 and 19 one is available and 2000 yeah i think 2019 is available yes so please have a look at it as well and i'll just get in wall i think i'll share it as well in a minute yeah these two this is the ugc handbook that's available online which you can you know have a look at 
it has everything in detail. So just zoom in. Okay, you know how much you have to gain, what are the you know that scores that you need. All of that has been explained here. Okay, what are the universities that offer it? So this is where you can have a look at it, right? And also this is the that score sheet. Right, this is for 2020-21. Okay. So you have this. It's clear enough. Okay. So you have, you know, according to the district quota and according to you know the subject that you chose, the that score is decided. So it's different every time. You know, it's not the same. So you have for each, let's go into the arts area. So here you have it. Right now, if you want to get into the law faculty of the University of Kalambu, if you're from the Kalambu district, then you need around two point odd, you know, that score to enter it. So this is how everything is in detail that you can have a look at. Please do your own research as well. We are here just to guide you, to show you where you can actually access all this have an access to all this, but definitely do your own research too. Right, let's get back into your questions. The psychology come under this? Yes, psychology is not offered as an A-level subject as far as I know, but in university, yes, it is offered as a subject and you can do your uh, bachelor's in it as well. Uh, it's offered in the University of Sri Javardhanapura and Kadambu as well. I'm not sure about the others. Yes, you can, definitely, you can become a lawyer if you go through the art stream, right? I even spoke about the subject combinations of it. Yeah, for psychology, the subjects to be selected. Like, that's the thing. Uh, as far as I know, psychology is not, you know, offered as a subject in your A-level stream. But for your, you know, university, like your bachelor's degree, you can. You definitely can go ahead with it. And there are schools, you don't have a particular subject combination. You have a lot of things to choose from, and you know, a lot of subjects to choose from. And like you have like, you know, your basics are if you're, you know, but if you're selecting a particular stream, then you go with the compulsory subjects of that stream and then you have an elective subject. So then you can choose psychology as your elective subject if you're chosen as a general student to the university. And then you can become like a psychologist by doing like, you know, your, you know, your degree, either a special degree, like an honors degree or even a general degree in psychology, right? If you choose it as your mainstream subject. Okay, what about political science? Can you show the political science? I don't understand. Political science is offered as a subject in your A levels, yes. What would you like to know? Let me know. Yeah, the high Zat score subjects for 2023 has not been released. It's like this. After you do your A levels, only then do they decide your Zat scores. Right, it depends on there's a particular formula that they use to decide what the Zat score is for each subject. So accordingly, you'll have to choose and that will be released only after your A-levels uh, are done, right? Once they're marking and everything and once you get your, you know, results, then you can see what is tallying with the subjects that you want to offer in university. Yeah, so the language is available in this stream. We discussed all of it. You have like national languages, classical languages and foreign languages. You have English, Sinhala and Tamil under national. Then you have uh, classical, you have Pali, Sanskrit, and Arabic. And then foreign languages, you have Japanese, you have Chinese, Russian, uh, and you know, so many more. I've already discussed it. Hope you can, you know, have a look at it later, maybe in the recording. Okay, three subjects to become the a software engineer. Okay, software engineer, of course. Through arts, I'm not sure how what kind of a combination you'll need. Because definitely you need maths, right? You can get in with combined mathematics, maybe a little bit of business studies or business statistics and ICT, definitely. If I'm not mistaken, yes, you can, you know, have this kind of, a, you know, combination because for, to become a software engineer, you need this knowledge about the technological side, right? You need ICT. So that is a definite subject. So accordingly, you can choose. 
you can choose your um, subjects in that way. Yeah. Okay, how can I become a lawyer by selecting what subject? So I discussed it. It's like this. You have subjects such as accounting, you know, biological science, business studies or statistics, chemistry, combined mathematics, economics, geography, logic, physics, history, political science or ICT. You can choose two subjects from this category or one from the language category, like national languages. You have to do either languages such as Sinhala, Tamil or English and two from the list that I just mentioned, right? So that way you can enter the law faculty of Colombo, Peladini or Jaffna. Those are the three universities that are offering, you know, law. Business statistics, accounting and ICT. Those three to become a lawyer, right? So you have to do a language subject. Right? You have to do, a, maybe you can choose business statistics, ICT and English. Or maybe you can do business statistics, accounting and Tamil. Something like that if you want to become a lawyer. Yes, you can do two languages in ICT. Is it possible to do in art stream? Yes, you can. Yes, English literature comes under art stream. It goes as English. Right, because it has literature and the uh, grammar part, like the language part. Any more queries, any more questions, or we can wrap up? I do have answered everything. If your question has not been answered, please drop in a message. Okay, political science. Yeah, what about it? What would you like to know about political science? I did political science for my A levels. Um, what would you like to know? You mean the scope, is it, when it comes to political science, or the particular type of subject combination that you would like to know? Okay, the universities offering law, there are three. You have Palambu, Peradenia, and Jaffna. The three universities, yeah, those are the three. Okay, there's a request to show a particular slide. I'll go back into it. The social sciences, this one. To become a lawyer, is it necessary to do logic? No, it's not necessary to do logic. You need to do, it's necessary, it's compulsory to do a language and any of the other subjects. Like, like I said, accounting, then you have biological science, and you have business studies or statistics, then chemistry, then combined mathematics, economics, geography, logic, physics, all of that. It's like a combination, like you have from the math stream and the bio stream and the commerce stream, like, but you have these subjects in, um, you know, arts as well, history, political science, ICT, all of those subjects. The only necessary thing that you need to do is you need to do a language, like a national language. Okay. Is that all? Any more questions or we can wrap up? I think that's all. Yes, you can choose history too as part of your subject. Part of your subjects, yeah. If you want to do law, yes, you can choose history.
okay regarding hospitality management it's like this you can choose another social sciences two actually of the social sciences and one of the languages right or you can also you know choose one from the technology stream that is also part of the social sciences so you can choose all three uh, you know part of the social sciences or you can do two from a social science and one from languages right and you know, one of the main things you all need to understand is this you need to make sure which university is offering what type of a degree right now if you have this idea of entering the palambu university you need to you need to do your research on you know what degree is being offered there not all the degrees are offered in all the universities so the ugc handbook that i just shared has all the details you can check that out right regarding you know the degree that you want to choose and what is offered in which university all that is there in detail right okay i think we can wrap up and jazakallah hi thank you so much for your participation and like i said make sure you dream you give your goals a reality at least on paper so that inshallah one day it will become a reality in future right so that brings me to the end of my presentation jazakallah hi Thank you, Jasra. We'd like to thank all our participants for joining the session. We hope the session was productive. More educational webinars and motivational sessions will be scheduled in future, which will help and support you in various ways. You can access our YouTube channel if you missed previous webinars. Please feel free to contact us if you want to leave any suggestions or comments based on these sessions, and stay connected with us for more updates. Once again, thank you and keep working hard to reach your goals. We, the Muslim Majlis of University of Sri Jayawardenepura, genuinely wish all of you the best of luck. Stay safe and have a fabulous week ahead. Thank you.